and you've slaved the missiles or you've slaved the damage beam. Missile, we've slaved the missiles to the damage beam. Okay, cool. Continue. There is no effect either. Hmm? The scary thing is that this platform in front of me had 330,000 shields. As you can see, it no longer has 330,000 shields. It looks like it's sort of more effective than salvaging, to be honest. So, Dalmon, what is it that you've done this time? It's a prototype for a machine gun. Um, if you didn't have enough AMCs on your AMCs, you put AMCs in your AMCs. And it also works at a very small scale, uh, which makes it really, really nice for fighters and anti-fighter cannons, for example. Give us a blip again. Firing, yeah. Oh, god damn. Welcome back then. So I finished building my uh, crazy grid of uh, weaponry. And as you can see, what we've got here is a fairly large tower of weapons. So we're going to start from the bottom. What I've done is I've put the AMC system here, the D1000, then the new damage beam, the pulsator, and the damage pulse. So that's from left to right. And then going up, this is the AMC column. Okay, going up to the top. And then on the side, I've noted what each row is for. So the first row is AMCs, the second row is D1000s, the third row is uh, damage beam, the fourth is the uh, pulsator, and the fifth is the damage pulse. I'm going to be using this uh, just as the game develops to sort of see that they're all working and demonstrate them. Um, I've tried to make them all use the same amount of space, so you can see best down here where we've matched them one to one. Obviously, you, matching the pulsator one to one is tricky because it works on an XYZ. So, if it is on block count, then this isn't really going to be a fair comparison like this is. But I've done it the same for all of them. So, at least when you put the pulsators to each other, they will be one to one in terms of block strength. I don't really know what the stats are for lots of these things, and uh, some of the figures are random. So if we get some strange results, don't worry. Uh, everything is in XML form now, so you can actually change all the settings yourself. Obviously, servers will set their own settings, and they'll be pushed to the client, much like the uh, mod block XMLs. So what we've got here is uh, the bottom row is just straight, no connection. Uh, the second one is good. This will be AMC and AMC, and this one will be AMC and uh, damage pulse. If I move up, this is going to be uh, damage pulse and D1000s, and then this one will be D1000s and you see so the, uh, the master is the column and the slave is the row and that's basically how I've, how I've figured this out um, for the purpose of the actual effects if you're wondering and you're a sharp tool you know all about the effects we've got each of the effects here in the same block count as the master array and um, that basically will be uh, slaved additionally so to each what we'll do is we'll unlink and link the effect as we need to when demonstrated instead of building like another three of these <laughs> we're just gonna unlink and link because it is a wireless linking system and so you don't need to have you know if we're just gonna switch them up one last thing of course is just to talk about the basics of the linking system so I've got this here it's just gonna be a graphical representation of the concept so if I just take these up the idea is if I was going to use my purple block as a master, okay, I need to create, so that would be the computer, uh, not the computer, but the blocks that you attach to it. If I show here, we're talking about the blocks that are attached to the computer. Purple for the master, black for the slave, and then red for the effect, okay? So, master, slave, effect. That's balanced, all right? Now, obviously, if you have more blocks in your master than your slave system you're going to get a different you're going to get more of the master's trait than the slave so you balance it out by doing this when it's finished that won't work you're going to have to think is this or this in terms of the ratio and of course if you want to put an effect onto a one-to-one -one, you want to have the same block count for your effect so a bigger array must be balanced in the same count and then so must the effect if you want it to use the full balanced effect of course they grade down if you had different ratios you could have different combinations and it will end up having a different um, effect a going to be here helping me go through all of these 
Indeed. We've got one of his test blocks. Cool, look at that. It's really quite impressive. The, the look, the looks of this, this game. It's really, really impressive. Screenshots. Yeah, screenshots. My crazy power array. I'm going to fall down there, there's more of it. So, here we are. We're going to try out the first one. This is AMC on its own. Um, I don't know how I'm going to show this and do it. Are you able to come down here and help me out? Yep, can do. Perfect. Okay, so as Darmon is demonstrating, that's the single, and I've already hooked up the main one, so boom, boom, boom. What are we getting? 200 damage per shot. Very nice. Yep, very nice. So that's your AMC. Okay. So this would be the D1000. Cool. Oh, what happened there? Do, do that one again. Oh, wow, jeez. Why is it firing sideways? Oh, you fired the little one. Okay, fire the big fire one. Both. Oh, really? Yep, they both went sideways. Whoa, I don't know why they're going sideways, but oh. hey. So that's your D1000 array. Whoa, damn. And what's next? Next is the lasers. Lasers are called damage beams. I'm going to give that first one a fire. Oh, boom, boom. And then we've got the big one. Oh, wow. Do that again. Lots of 20 pulses. Oh, wow, that looks cool. If I leave it on, does it stay on? No, you'd need to clock it. I mean, we could, but I haven't set that up. I mean, obviously Speaking you can... of, I love the activation blocks now have a light. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. We've got the pulsator. So the pulsator... Oh, there we go, that's the pulse. And then we've got a bigger pulse on this one, I expect. There we go, so that's the pulsator array. It can be used to uh, give uh, push effect, I believe this one was, but I don't know, it's been changed, so. So that's the pulsator, okay, so now we're gonna move on to the damage pulse, which I believe is the same thing, but does damage. Yep, same thing. And oh, wow, okay, that was pretty cool. All right, cool, so uh, next thing. so. What you need to do is obviously select the weapons computer and then run down to the effect which we've got prepared and hit V. And now um, we should have, what's this first one? Piercing. I know the first <coughs> one's explosive and then the last one's EMP. Right. Okay. The unfortunate thing is a lot of these are hard to show and I'm not sure if the EMP effect works. Yeah. That's all right. Move on to the next one. Okay, we've got it hooked up. That's to the explosive. Explosive AMC. And obviously the effects are greater with the larger array. So we're just trying to see that they all work at the moment, really. So, okay, brilliant. And we'll move on to the next one. Which is EMP, and I don't think we're going to be able to show that, unfortunately, but I'll shoot it anyway. Okay. Yep. Can't really see what that does. That's okay. Right, I'm going to disconnect it. Connects up to the no. last one. What's this yep. last one? The very last one? I yep. think that was the EMP. Maybe there was, yeah, piercing explosive EMP and chunk error for me, anyway. Chunk error? What do you mean? Yep. Oh, you can't it's see probably anything. probably punch through if it looks like logs. Punch through, okay, hang on. Yeah, it is. It looks like logs, so it's punch through. Whoops. So we can't really see the difference at the moment, but <laughs> that's Shield fine. It works. Yeah, but it works at the end of the day, um, and it's not like it's not breaking the shields. Next is D1000, so I'm going to hit C, and I'm going to go hook it up to the first effect. Okay, it's hooked up. Go ahead. Oh God, is it trying to shoot me? Yep. <laughs> okay, right. Try again. Uh oh. Oh, there it goes. It's a hell of an explosion. It's not actually... Right, so let's move on to the next effect. It works though, there's no crash. That's the main thing. <laughs> Here we go. Next effect. Fire away. Nice, it's working. Good. Okay, I'm hooking up to the next one. Okay, go ahead. Oh god, well it's kind of exploding like straight away. I don't know why that is. Is that is that's like for whatever reason heading off to the right. I couldn't tell you. I think it's a scatter shot that doesn't know which way it uh, wants to scatter. I Strange. think it's uh, not random yet. 
Okay, right, well in that case we'll disconnect it and move on to the last one. Okay, go ahead. That's gone through fine. It seemed to do a lot of damage actually, that. Do it again. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, nice, that works. Okay, so uh, on to the lasers. The computer and... Okay, good. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, I'm going to disconnect it. Hook up to the next one. Okay, go, go. Nice. Okay. And we'll jump over and hook up to the next one. Go ahead. It's working fine. Brilliant. On to the next one. Work again. Go on, let's do it. Yes. Okay, so that's beautiful. So all of those all of those are fine. It's the pulsator. Now this probably won't be very easy to show. But we'll <laughs> pulsator with piercing effect. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, incompatible blocks. Next. Incompatible. So I don't think that and ah, it's telling me what they were now. Right, hang on. So the first one is piercing effect. The second one is explosive effect. The third one is EMP, as you said. And the fourth one is punch through. So yeah, we can't actually attach this weapon to uh, the effect blocks. So that's good to know. Let's just double check it's the same with the last one. Oh, this one is not the case. So hang on, I'm going to get down to the end. Looks like the damage pulse. Okay. V. Right. Damage pulse with piercing effect. Fire. There's a bubble. Okay. V. V. Right. And fire. Nothing. Anything? Nothing. I can't see anything. So explosive effect, damage pulse. Are you sure that's not that's not doing anything, is it? Nope. Right, disconnecting it. Try it now. It works again. Right, okay, so I need to write that down. <laughs> so the next one in the line is uh, EMP. That's it. Oh, well, that's right. EMP. Yep, that's beautiful. That works. Okay, and the last one is... What one was this? Punch through. The one that looks like logs. Yeah. It's not doing anything, is it? Uh, nope. Nothing. Right, disconnecting it. Yes. So basically all right. also uh, damage and um, punch through, wasn't it? Yep. It might be because there is no applicable effect, for, you know what I mean? It might be because you, well, you can't do that, you know what I mean? So that's fair enough. Okay then guys, so we've been through all of the basic effects with all of the basic weapons. And we've learned a little bit about how the Pulsator doesn't actually work with any of them. So that was useful. <laughs> now I need to get out of gravity so I can fly up to uh, the next row. And we can show off the first bunch of... So basically what this can show then is how uh, AMCs interact with each individual system. Exactly. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this row is going to be all about the uh, AMC as a slave, okay, to each weapon as a master. I'm going to start with AMC and AMC. So the first I thing... just finished plopping down my activation blocks. Cool. And uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do here is uh, attach the weapons computer to the slave so you do that with C on your master and V on your slave. Obviously, balancing the systems means a balanced effect from the combination. Okay, I'm going to move in here in front. Okay, so this is the uh, AMC versus AMC, or AMC with AMC slave. 